Hey y'all, it's great to have y'all back in the kitchen with me uh, this afternoon. And uh, the recipe that I'm gonna share today with y'all is one that really brings back a lot of memories for me. Uh, in uh, 1989, June the 19th, as a matter of fact, uh, Jamie and I ran the first bag lady route. I had $200 to start this business that I had figured out in my head. And uh, I can almost, y'all hush, 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 hush. I can almost tell you to the penny how I spent that $200, but um, it was a business license food and, and a cooler to carry the food around in. And uh, because we had to keep the food a certain temperature, but I would make these wonderful little lunches. Well, I started out mainly just making sandwiches. And uh, everybody, it was a big success right from the start. People really seemed to enjoy my cooking. But even more than that, they love seeing Jamie and Bobby coming in every day, showing their, their food off. Uh, so, one of the most popular items uh, on our menu was uh, grilled chicken salad. I mean, everybody loved those. And we would get up every morning at six o'clock and Jimmy, the boy's daddy, would get out and start the grill up, fire up the grill for me and cook all these fresh chicken breast. And I'd cut them, I'd cut, I'd chop them up and then I would marinate them in a uh, gosh, I can't even remember now what I used to marinate them in, but a Durkee's mm. sauce. I, anyway, it was so good. But one of the most popular mayonnaise salads was our chicken salad. And there is so many recipes y'all out there for chicken salad. You can add curry, make a curry chicken salad. Uh, you can uh, make a chicken salad with grapes in it or raisins, you know, some kind of fruit. So there is so many. In fact, I've got a lot of different mm -hmm. chicken salad recipes in my cookbook. But um, my favorite one still to this day and my family's favorite chicken salad is the one that I named Jamie's Chicken Salad because I showed Jamie how to make it and how I wanted it made and dad gum it that little thing and got where he could make it better than me. And to this day, he makes incredible chicken salad, incredible. And it's so simple, it's so very simple. And I'll tell y'all another little tip. Fried, left, if you have any leftover fried chicken or leftover roasted chicken or baked chicken or fried, leftover fried chicken, if you'll take the skin and the bones off of it, out of it, it makes the best chicken salad because that chicken is so well seasoned. And that's what I'm using. I had fried chicken yesterday. So what was left over, I'm gonna make chicken salad out of. And like I said, it's very, very, very basic. It uh, calls for celery. And I love the celery cause it gives it the crunch. Um, a teaspoon of lemon pepper. There we go. Uh, four chopped boiled eggs. And I love, I love onions in my chicken salad, shrimp salad, egg salad, whatever. I, I just like it. And I have found that these uh, dried onions are really, really good in a salad. So I'm gonna put, and this is, <laughs> I tricked the, the boy's father for years because he did not like onions. And he thought I made the best potato salad and the best chicken salad in the world. Uh, he didn't know that I was using grated onions because it just wasn't the same without the onions. But he ate it, you know, so what you don't know won't hurt you, will it? <laughs> All right. So, that is it. 
except I got one more ingredient that I use, but first I'm gonna put enough mayonnaise, and this is to be determined by you. It depends on how wet you want it. All right, now I, I'm gonna add some pepper too. I had the lemon pepper, but now I'm gonna add just some black pepper. And like I said, it just really depends on how wet you want it. And sometimes after you put it in the refrigerator, it will almost, that chicken will absorb all that mayonnaise. And the next day you very well could have to um, add a little bit more mayonnaise to it. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you what, I've been walking down memory lane today with y'all. <laughs> We're going back. We started the bag lady in 1989. 90, 30 years, 31 years. Wow. And when I started it, y'all, I thought I was old. I was 42. And I said, I don't know if I can do this because I'm an old lady. <laughs> Honey, if I had known what was coming, <laughs> I'd have probably gone to bed. Because I've got some stories to tell about the, being in the restaurant business. If you're thinking about going into the restaurant business, I just have to tell you, it's hard. It's hard, but if it's your passion, there's nothing you can do about it but go with it. All right, so my last ingredient that I'm going to use is um, my silly salt. And because I'm using my leftover fried chicken, remember it was already seasoned with salt and pepper and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be very, very light with my silly salt because the lemon pepper that I used, it's got salt in it too. So there you go, just that easy. And if you wanna change it up tomorrow for your family, you can sprinkle some curry powder in there or uh, cut some grapes in half and add those and add you some pecans or slivered almonds. All of that just is so good. It's just depending on what kind of chicken salad you want. And um, to me, this traditional Southern chicken salad makes the best sandwich. You know, somehow making a chicken salad sandwich and eating grapes and nuts, you know, that doesn't quite compute with me, but uh, that kind of chicken salad I would eat on lettuce. Mm -hmm. that had the fruit in it. So that's it, the bag lady's chicken salad. Can't believe it's been 31 years. Do you remember the day I called you Aunt Peggy and said I had decided what I was gonna do with my life? Well, I have to tell y'all, Aunt Peggy, uh -huh, she was my biggest supporter. She and my Uncle George. Uh, Uncle George passed away on March the 17th, 1996. We had just gotten the restaurant open and he never got to see it. <coughs> y'all, hush! Hush! But he came over here and he met with me with the bankers and um, Looked like I wasn't gonna be able to pull off opening that restaurant downtown, but Aunt Peggy put her money where their mouth was. <laughs> and she loaned me a CD <laughs> to <laughs> use as collateral. Uh -huh. But you know, we, I, we, I bought George because I felt like that we had to, had to have a man oh. in his presence to uh, know we meant business. Uh -huh. Uncle George was so smart. He was really a self-made man and he was just, very smart, and we'll miss him till the day, you know, we leave this earth. But uh, Aunt Peggy, <laughs> it was so hard when I started off, y'all. Uh, I couldn't afford to pay, you know, help. <clears throat> so, I was the only one I knew that would work for free. <laughs> Me and Aunt Peggy. <laughs> so I'd call her and I'd say, oh God, Peggy, I. I, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do this. I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. 
and uh, she would come over, hush! She would come over for two weeks at the time and she would get in that kitchen and it was so funny, I've got pictures to prove this now, y'all. She, before she came in the kitchen, she'd take a clean pair of her underwear and put it over her head because she said, I don't want any of my hair to get in the food. <laughs> so that was her hair net. <laughs> and I've got the picture to uh, prove it. <laughs> um, it, it was just hard. It was so very hard. But you know what? I think it made the person I am today and... Uh, so I try not to ram ram too hard because I've been blessed. I'm a living testament that God blesses hard work. So on that note, y'all, I'm going to go have some chicken salad and uh, I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Love and best dishes to all y'all out there.